Oh, hoy hoy there. Darkfall13 here. Welcome to Mikasa. I apologize for the sex toys in the background. No, no I'm kidding. That would, that's just weird. This is just cat food. It's good for when you're trying to get more specimens into your lab. You just place it around the property, you get more things coming in, you get science to continue. What we have here is an AMD Phenom 2 965 Black Edition. It's, uh, this is actually the 125 watt version. It also had a 140 watt version. Back when it came out, that was just crazy. People thought it was stupid, you know, melt through your motherboard and just to the center of the earth. Who would want a processor that hot? This thing here, this thing I'm going to start calling the idiot because it's a piece of crap. But right now, it has an FX 9590 in it. It's a 220 watt TDP processor. It is a small nuclear furnace. And, well, besides my descriptions of the wonderful times I've had with this processor, this has nothing to do with it. It just has to do with it's hot. And this is hot. And we're here to talk about hotness. Like, you know, Sarah Michelle Geller or, I don't know, Fergie, for Christ's sake. Oh, that's disgusting. But anyway, we're actually talking about TDP here. I don't know what the problem is with high TDP. It's whatever. My computer's still fine. Actually, in reality, heat is always, always bad. No one wants a hot computer. You don't want to overclock with a hot computer. You don't want the room you're sitting in with the computer to be blistering hot. It's also a bad idea if you live in the desert like I do. So in this video here, we're going to demonstrate how to properly tim your processor because I've seen lots of videos online and, well, really, it makes me uneasy to watch them. And I want to see something here. I want to do some science or whatever the hell this is. It's a YouTube video, I guess. So there's plenty of different ways to do tim applications. People like to do the dot, the grain of rice, X, smiley face. I guess you could probably put vulgar words on there if you wanted, but really it all matters about even application and not overdoing it. So in this video, I'm just going to do these experiments with the simple dot on the center of the processor, pea size, just normal run-of-the-mill application. So this video here is not about the other application methods. I don't care what you have to say. SHUT UP! I know one of the most popular methods is uh, spread that tin nice and thinly on your processor. I like to call it the mayo, because it reminds me of sandwiches. And my god, our sandwich is awesome. You got your turkey, your roast beef, you got French dip. Oh, you got Rubens too. Oh my god, Ruben sandwiches. It's just awesome. Oh, uh, yeah. What are we talking about again? Oh yes, processor Tim something thing. Yeah, got it. So I keep seeing a bunch of videos online where they use isopropyl alcohol, which is good. You, you definitely use the highest percentage you can get. It, it helps clean your processor surface after all. But then I cringe every time I see them whip out cotton ball or cotton swab or cotton picking cotton whatever the hell is. Because there's all these fibers sticking out of here. I can't help but think it gets on your processor and messes up, you know, your neatly applicated tim. And you could do better. Come on, you always try to improve yourself. So I always use good old coffee filters. They cost like a penny for a million and a half of them. So you buy one package, you never need to buy any more for your computers. I've always heard it's lintless and it's supposed to have the cleanest surface after you use it on your processor. But I guess today I'm about to find out. So I ran Prime 95 small FFTs for 15 minutes in a room with the ambient temperature of 23 degrees Celsius. And I reached a temperature on the core of 41 degrees Celsius. Then I cleaned the processor with a cotton ball and re-ran the test and I got about 41 degrees Celsius. So I thought, oh, this is, this is weird, I must have messed up. And I did it several times and I kept getting 41 Celsius. So eventually I rigged the test and I put a fuck ton of cotton fibers on there and re-ran the test and I got 47 Celsius. So 
I guess in normal applications of using cotton balls to clean off the core, it's not too bad. But even when you, I put a ton on there, I was surprised with just how little that really made a difference. I assumed it was going to overheat as soon as I booted the system, but that obviously was wrong. But yeah, it's, I guess it is what it is, so who cares? Just do it the way you do it. So tune in next time where I'll show you how to make fresh foie gras using freshly harvested neighborhood cat.